Welcome to my next class on quantum mechanics. Today we will see what happens to a particle trapped inside a box or if a particle is or having mass m is trapped inside an infinite square well what will be the energy values of that particle or what are the fun wave functions that the particle can take. For that consider a box or a square well having a width L. If a particle of mass m is trapped inside this well, then the particle will be free to move inside this well or inside this box the particle is free to move. That is inside the well particle will be having a potential energy which is equal to zero or the particle is under zero potential or time independent potential inside this well or inside this box. The width of the box is L, so these are the boundaries at x equal to 0 and x equal to L are the boundaries of the well or the box. Then these two walls, walls of the well are offering infinite potential to the particle that is why the particle cannot come out of the box or the well, that is the particle is trapped inside the well. That is why we have represented this as infinite potential along these two boundaries. Now, if, since the particle inside this box is having a zero potential or a time independent potential, we can write the Schrodinger equation for such a particle as dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cut square e minus v into psi is equal to zero that e is the total energy and v is the potential energy but here you can see that inside the well the potential is equal to zero so the equation becomes dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cut square into e psi is equal to zero since v is equal to zero v is equal to zero now these three quantities are constants m is a constant where m is the mass of the particle capital e is a constant it is a total energy of the particle h cut is h by 2 pi so this 2 m by h cut square into e can be taken as equal to another constant k square substituting in this equation equation becomes dou square psi by dou x square plus k square into psi is equal to 0. This our equation becomes this form. Mark it as equation number 2 and this is equation number 1. Now, if you are having an equation, a second order differential equation of this form, a possible solution for this is psi is equal to a sin kx plus kx plus b cos k is kx b cos kx this is a possible solution of this equation second order differential equation dou square psi by dou x square plus k x k square psi is equal to zero the possible solution is psi is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx where a and b are two unknown quantities or a or b are the a and b are the constants to be determined for finding the constants a and b, we will apply the boundary conditions. What are the boundary conditions? Here the boundaries are x equal to 0 and at x equal to L. You know that the particle is inside this well. So inside the well, psi, the wave function will have a value. So particle is inside the well, so the wave function will have value inside this well. That means the particle will be absent at x less than 0 and also at x greater than L. From here onwards, the particle beyond this point, beyond this wall at x equal to 0, the particle will be absent. And also after this boundary x equal to L, there will be no particle. That means the wave function psi will be equal to 0 before x equal to 0 and beyond x equal to L. That, that will be the boundary condition and this boundary condition is psi is equal to 0 for x less than or equal to a, 0 and x greater than or equal to L. From this condition, we can take the particular condition as psi is equal to 0 at x equal to 0. Applying the first boundary condition to 
this equation, market as equation number 3, boundary condition, psi equal to 0 at x equal to 0 is applied to equation number 3, psi equal to 0 equal to a sin kx, where there x is equal to 0, sin 0 is 0, that is first term is 0 plus b cos kx, cos kx is not equal to 0 when x equal to 0, that means here we have that will be equal to 1, so this will be equal to b. That means b is equal to 0. Applying the first boundary condition. Now we can apply the second boundary condition as psi is equal to 0 at x equal to a. This is the second boundary condition. We have a condition as psi equal to 0 for x greater than or equal to l. Now we are taking it precisely at x equal to l. Psi will be equal to 0. Now what will be equation 3 becomes 0 equal to a sin kx or a sin kl b is equal to 0. b is equal to 0 so this equation becomes 0 equal to a sin kl. Now a can never be equal to 0 because if a becomes 0 our solution will vanish. So that will be invalid. So a cannot be equal to 0. So what will be equal to 0? Sin KL should be equal to 0. Since A not equal to 0 implies that A not equal to 0 implies that sin KL should be equal to 0. When will we get sin KL equal to 0 or what will be condition for KL? That means KL should be equal to N pi. Then sin KL can be equal to 0. Or you can say that our, that means our equation will be our equation for psi becomes psi is equal to a sin a sin kx. K, here you have kx, so instead of kx you can write n pi by l into x. This is our equation where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Where n equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. But we know that we have taken k square is equal to 2me by h cut square. So we can substitute it into this equation that is here we know that k is equal to n by by l or 2me by h cut square is equal to n square pi square by l square. From this equation you can write e energy e is equal to n square pi square h cut square by bringing this to the side 2 ml square or you can write this as you can represent this as en where en represents the nth state energy energy of the nth state will be equal to en equal to n square pi square h cut square by 2 ml square where n equal to 1 2 3 etc. Now if we put n equal to 1, the first energy of the first energy level will be equal to E1 is equal to putting n equal to 1, the equation become pi square h cut square by 2 ml square and by putting n equal to 2, we get the second energy level as E2 is equal to n square is 2 square that is 4 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square, E3 will be equal to 9 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square and so on. So this represents the energy levels of a particle trapped inside the box. What does this show? This shows that the particle cannot take any value of energy but it should take particular values such as E1, E2, E3, E4 and so on. That means the energy levels are quantized. Then we can see that the energy levels are quantized when a particle is trapped inside a potential well or a box. Now we have to derive the, we have to find the value of A also. For finding the value of A, we can apply the normalization condition that is integral of psi star psi dx will be equal to 1 applying the limits as 0 to n. Substituting that is psi square dx will be equal to 1 integral of 0 to l psi square dx will be equal to 1 or integral 0 to l taking a square outside sin square n by x by l into dx will be equal to 1. 
This we have a result x by 2 integral 0 to L sin square n by x by L will be equal to into dx will be equal to x by 2 within the limits 0 to L that is a square will into this will be equal to 1 or a will be equal to root of 2 by L. a will be equal to root of 2 by L or you can substitute this a into our equation for psi that is psi will be equal to psi will be equal to root of 2 by L into sin n by x by L. This represents the end state wave function. Psi n is the end state wave function and psi n will be equal to root of 2 by L into sin n by x by L. Now, if, how will you write this for? You have to write the, the, the wave function for the first few energy levels. You can write it for the first few energy levels as psi 1 will be equal to root of 2 by L into sin into sin of n by x by L n equal to 1 that is sin pi x by L pi x by L psi 2 will be wave function of the second energy level will be equal to root of 2 by L into sin 2 pi x by L and so on, psi 3, psi 4, etc. can be written like this. Root of 2 by L, sin n by x by L represents the wave function of wave function of n the state. Wave function of n the state. So the ground state wave function will be equal to psi 1 is equal to root of 2 by L sin pi x by L. And the ground state energy will be equal to pi square x square, square by 2 ml square. Ground state st starts from n equal to 1. There is no n equal to 0 level but the first state starts from or the ground state starts from n equal to 1 having an energy E1 equal to pi square x square, square by 2 ml square and wave function as root of 2 by L into sin pi x by L. Now what will be the probability density? The probability density will be equal to psi star psi or psi square that can be equal to psi square so here this will be equal to 2 by L into sin square n by x by L. This represents the probability of finding the particle or the probability density of the particle will be 2 by L into sin square n by x by L. So the probability of finding the particle between a small width of x and x plus dx or for a small width of dx will be equal to 2 by L into sin square n by x by L into dx. This represents the probability of finding the particle in a small region of between x and x plus dx. So this is the part, this is what happens when a particle is trapped inside a box. The energy levels are quantized. There are wave function for each energy level.